Okay, folks, I was I was making that video on mowing the grass and uh, pointing out some of the uh, features of the location where I was mowing, and I thought it was important to uh, give you a description of a retention basin. Um, as you can see from the diagram above, uh, the retention basin sits behind a row of homes. The homes are on a suburban street that has, um, instead of, you know, it doesn't have ditches alongside of it, it has uh, storm drains. Now those storm drains go through their property, underneath their property, and into those uh, storm drain pipes that you can see here in blue. Um, the basin is a depression in the ground. The head wall is a vertical concrete wall with a pipe elevated above the bottom of the depression, above the bottom of the basin, a certain height. In this case, it's, it's a couple of feet. So what happens is water flows into the basin through the storm drain pipes from the street. Uh, it flows down the flow channel marked here in red towards the head wall, and it will fill up that basin. Now the flow channel is just a, uh, a way of stopping that moving water from eroding the bottom of the basin. That's all that is. But it directs the water towards the head wall. Now the head wall being a vertical wall with a pipe elevated above the bottom of the basin a certain height. Here I think it's about two feet. So what happens is water will flow from the storm drains into the basin and collect there. If the water in the basin should get above the height of the bottom of the head wall pipe, it flows through the head wall pipe, which is again buried underground, goes through those woods on the top side of the photograph, and uh, comes out into another natural body of water. In this case, it's a, a brook that leads into a swamp. So basically, you have a way of collecting water from storm drains off of the street. Uh, that way, the streets don't flood, and neither does the property of the homeowners it goes into this basin and if it should exceed a certain height or depth in that basin where it would uh, overflow or, or start to overflow that's where the head wall uh, takes care of any extra water um, so that the basin won't fill up and overflow and then flood their property from the backside. so that's basically how a retention basin works now there there is a difference between a retention basin and a detention basin. A detention basin is, is similar except that it does not have a head wall so there's no pipe, no outlet um, for the water to go anywhere. Um, the water flows into the retention or detention basin through the storm drain pipes and basically soaks into the ground and a lot of that I guess depends uh, what type of basin you have really depends on uh, you know, the topography, uh, the elevations, the type of ground, um, there's, there's a lot to it, but that's, that's, uh, a lot of what I have to mow. So, uh, most of the, the, um, areas that I mow throughout our town are, um, basins of some sort, um, also open spaces. And these are, um, open plots of land that are not, um, cultivated grass like in our parks the parks get mowed with finish mowers because the ground is uh there's a lot of it and the grass is is kept low all the time and it's it, you know it's fed and and seeded and so forth so it's nice grass plus the ground is very smooth and level so those types of finish mowers can travel over it and it's not often wet so the locations that i go to are places that are basically they're not maintained in any way other than what i do which is uh, cut the natural vegetation down oftentimes the ground can be wet it can be uneven uh, bumpy or hilly and that is why um, it does require to be cut but it doesn't it, there is not a requirement for a, a beautiful appearance and so a finish mower is not necessary or nor would it be appropriate for the type of ground that i'm cutting so that's that's what uh i do and there are a few locations that don't qualify as either of these things for instance our dump i mow our dump um but that that's pretty much what i do so now you know what a retention basin is and how it works and you know the difference between a retention basin and a detention basin and so when you see some of my videos in the future, you can get an idea of what it is exactly that um, you're seeing me cut from eye level. Thanks, everybody. You guys have a great day. Be safe. Be well. God bless.